using tab boleh tak? Okay, right. So, um, either way, uh, okay, no matter how you approach it, whether you are doing this as a lecture style, uh, you're just going to listen and then you're going to do later or whether you going to follow along with me later, um, I hope we all uh, kind of start with making an intention first. So, let's just make the intentions that we are going to gain the knowledge that we seek the answers that we seek in this class, inshallah, and that uh, all our efforts uh, benefit to everybody who attended this class uh, today, inshallah. And before we start, uh, can we just recite uh, Al-Fatihah dulu? Okay. Okay. Uh, just a short introduction of who is calm, uh, who is calm, and what do we do, and why we are doing this. So basically, calm is a voluntary organization um, set up by four teachers. Uh, that's uh, Nuraisha Mamasha, uh, Karin, Adriana, myself, Juzaila Jumari, and Nur Faizam uh, Mahan. And what we do is basically we help underprivileged children um, in the region. Okay, so. Um, the schools that we take care of is mainly in Tanjung Pinang and our um, home, our base of orphanage is called Panti Asuhan Bina Insani. So we visit them like once or twice a year and then we run campaigns that raise funds to help them with basic necessities like uh, food, school items, with event uh, like if they need new uniforms or with event build a well for one of the tafis in Tanjung Pinang. Okay, so right now we are kind of planning programs where we can teach them skills that they can use to trade or exchange services so that they can earn an income to be able to sustain themselves. So if they need resources, they can hire these resources or can, they can get these resources um, in order for the orphanage to run pro properly. Okay, so one of the um, services uh, that, we, that we think that we want to expand for, for the for the school is uh, Akika services. So last year, uh, like, like last year, I went to do the Akika service with Bina Insani for my son. And that is one of the services that we want to help them see whether they can expand and use that to be able to earn and sustain themselves. So for like this year, uh, we haven't visited any of them because of the pandemic. So it has been really tough for the for the kids as well. So that's why we are uh, creating this initiative to see uh, how we can help them as much as we can. Okay. All right, so this, uh, this is one of the Tafis school. Uh, this one, we actually raised, uh, raise, uh, we did a campaign to raise funds to give them, um, make them uh, new homes. homes. Yeah. Okay, so for past campaigns, uh, we've been like three years, right? The, we've done um, school bag missions where we raise funds to buy bags and school essentials and then there's project well where we raise funds to build a well um, and then most of these campaigns we, re we work with the school to decide on what is the uh, amount of money that they need to raise. So we have a target amount for every campaign that we do and then once we reach that um, target amount, 100% of these funds will go to support this campaign. Uh, our last uh, workshop that we did was Quran tagging workshop and we were blessed enough to have Aisha Shahira to come down and conduct this workshop for us. So same thing, the fees to that workshop uh, goes, to, it goes back to the schools in Tanjung Pinang. Okay, so for today, the lessons are free. Okay, that's why it's called Learn for Free. So the lessons are free. Uh, we just hope that uh, you can participate also in our charity drive. No amount is too small. You can donate any amount you like. Uh, just make sure that if you do donate, uh, please screenshot the amount and then text it to the same number the, on your screen right now, the pay now. Uh, that goes to Faiza. Faiza is our treasurer, so she will... Uh, communicate with you on uh, whether you need receipts and things like that. Lah. Okay, so in the meantime, you can connect with us to get updated on future initiatives and campaigns. You can follow us. We are on Instagram and, and Facebook and also we are also on Telegram. So you just go to SG and connect with, with us there. Okay. 
All right. So, yeah, a little bit about myself. Uh, like, who am I? What am I? What am I doing? Teaching websites? Like, am I? You know, boleh ke aku aja website? It's more like, who am I really? Okay, my name is Yuzaila Jumari. So I am a teacher as well. I'm one fourth of the Kam team. Um, and I also write. I'm a writer. So I have written for an anthology called Soulful Sto Stories that's published by Umu Pen. And then I also freelance for Tripzilla as a travel writer. So when I travel, I write articles for, for them. And I recently recently became an author co-writing a book with Aisha. Aisha, uh, she is my co-author on Where Are You Going, Sarah? It's a bilingual book. Uh, it's sold on Umu Pen and Warda Books. So... You can get them online if you have children. Please get them because it's an amazing book. It's beautifully hand drawn by a local illustrator. Okay, and then I also own a blog called mumbling.com uh, where I write posts about motherhood, parenting, and education. Okay, so why do you need to learn from me? And why, why am I like you know? Why do I want to teach people how to do websites? Okay, basically, for me, uh, I'm a little bit of a tech geek. All right, so I, I like to learn new things. I like to learn a lot of things. So 10 years ago, I wanted to have an online shop. So 10 years ago, I started selling small, small um, like dresses and skirts and things like that on Facebook. And then um, I, I decided that I want to have a proper website so I can uh, set up an online shop. So, but that time, 10 years ago, uh, if you want to have a website, you have to hire, uh, it's quite confusing, you have to hire a webmaster, you have to know someone who knows programming uh, or HTML or coding or something like that. So it can be quite expensive, um, it can be quite cumbersome because if you don't know what you're doing, then um, it can be quite confusing if you're managing on your own. If you want someone to manage the website for you, then there's this uh, ding-dong effect, like I want it to look a certain certain way and then you take two to three days to do and then you come back to me and then that's not what I want, you know, things like that. So there's just a lot of um, hassle in doing that. So I decided, okay, I'm going to learn how to make my own website. That, this was 10 years ago. So I learned about domains, I learned about hosting, I learned about HTML, WordPress. I don't learn everything. I don't claim to be the website expert. I learned enough to build my own website so that I can have my shop running, okay? And all in all, at that time, it took me six months to complete. It took me six months to have a live website because I had a full-time job. So I was doing this, uh, you know, whenever I have free time. So it, it, so it was a very long process. But finally, after six months, I've completed the website. It's a running website. I've, I think that it's like, you know, I was so happy. One and a half year later, I shut it down. <laughs> I shut it down, okay? So you, like, all those efforts, all those six months, all those sleepless nights, right? Why, 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 why do I shut down a website that I've so painstakingly built? Um, okay, so I'm going to share that, that. That is another topic, okay? That is another topic. What happens after you create a website? What next, okay? So that's another topic. Fast forward to now. During the circuit breaker, right? School closed, I'm a teacher. You have all this time, right? Home-based learning. So I had to relearn back all the tech stuff because we have to do home-based learning. So I have to like relearn, uh, uh, you know, all the, the technical stuff. And it was very overwhelming, but I'm a, um, I'm a writer. So I like to express stuff through writing, right? So, so at that time, I decided, hey, you know, I want to write, I want to write on a blog. I want to write on a proper blog on a, on a website that I own, okay? And I thought, okay, with all this time, the last time I took six months, maybe with all this time, I can cut it down to three months lah. Maybe three months, my, my blog will be up, okay? So I decided, okay, one weekend, I'm going to sit down and do, do my website. And I was so surprised that the technology has advanced so much in the last 10 years that over that weekend, I completed my website. Two hours, Two hours, my website was up and running. It was a blog website. Um, it was a blogging. I mean, it was a blog. It is a blog. So it's called Mumbling. That's my blog now. That, And I was, uh, you know, and then I published my blog. So I was very happy. And when I published my blog, people asked like, hey, you know, how you do your website? How come your website is not blogspot.com or wordpress.com? It's like, you know, a proper website. Even my husband, he is very technical. He, he, he earns a living 
being technical, <laughs> he was also very surprised and shocked that I was able to do the website. So I realized that even though the, the interface has changed, the technology has changed to make building websites so simple now, people still think that making a website is very difficult or it takes a lot of uh, knowledge atau susah, okay? So, why do I want to share this knowledge with you? Um, I think when I when you register, right, I, I sent you the invitation to the Zoom class. I also shared a viral video about a new economy in the digital age. And I know uh, uh, a lot of mothers like myself uh, who wants to write on this digital age and wants to do something, wants to whether start a service, do business, like some side hustle because it has made, um, it has changed the way we do things. It has made it easier and also more slightly difficult. Okay, easier because you don't have to travel, everything can be done online. Difficult is of course you have to learn that part, you have to you know, uh, learn how to be online. Okay, so I thought, okay, you know, like uh, Allah has blessed me with all this knowledge, with all this ability to to learn, right? So it's and I'm a teacher. Of course, I do best is teach lah. So I, I want. So that's why I feel like okay, I need to put it out there for people to learn. I need to share this skill so you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to think so much of what to do next like okay you need a website you want to do online chat you can do it you can do it and you can, on your own you can start with whatever you know now so um and i want to benefit more people so that's why i partner with my team come um so that this lesson you know can reach more people and then at the same time it can also help the schools uh, in tanjung pinang which is essentially why why we do this learn for free series lah. So that's my story. Okay, so who is this class for? Okay, of course, if you want to create a website, this is, your, this is for you. You can be a business owner. I think many of you here are. And then some of you, I think, ask me, if I don't have a business, can I learn? Yes, of course you can. In fact, if what you learned here, um, you know, if you're very good at it, you can even start your own business creating websites for people. So you can do that, okay? If you don't have any idea, um, you know, the kind of business that you want to do. Um, so if you, if let's say you want to also earn, own a piece of a virtual real estate, you want something to own in this noisy, scattered, cluttered world called the World Wide Web, right? You want a piece of what that you can control. Then of course, a website is, um, good for you lah okay because you can do when you own a website you can do a blog a lifestyle blog you want to be an influencer you want to be a blogger you know you want to you can create your own vlog and put your vlog videos inside your website you can create membership sites you can create your e-commerce store a retail store okay the possibilities are endless because that is your uh real estate your virtual real estate okay and then the another group of people that who is this class for is for you who are stuck and what do i mean by that okay because like me okay i i like to learn a lot of, of a lot of things i have a lot of interest i have a lot of passion i have a lot of knowledge but sometimes i just don't know what to do with it you tak tahu apa nak buat okay especially in this digital age everybody is moving forward everybody is doing something to um to create businesses and all that. And then you know you want to do something, but you tak tahu apa nak buat. Okay, that is what I mean by stuck. You want to start something, you have a lot of interest, you have a lot of knowledge, you have a lot of passion, but you don't know what to start with. I have a lot of interest. Which interest do I work at? Which passion do I work at? Uh, so this course is for you. Because at the end of this class, I want to share with you how I got unstuck by gaining clarity to pursue my passion and purpose. Out of so many passions and purpose, I gain clarity to use my skills and knowledge to benefit others. So I will share that with you at the end of this class, okay? So why do you need a website? Okay, I think the reason is clear. I've already shared, right? Virtual real estate. But some people will ask, okay, Facebook is free, Instagram free, YouTube free, TikTok free. I want to be influencer. I want to sell anything. I want to create whatever. I just need to put on social media, right? It's free. Why do I need to spend money, spend time building a website? 
Okay. Number one is, main reason is because you don't own social media. We don't own the social media. You cannot control the algorithm. You cannot control whether people follow you or not. Uh, if let's say today Facebook decides to change, Facebook and Instagram decides to change like, okay, every 1,000 followers, I'm going to charge you $10 subscribe, uh, subscription fee. How? We cannot, we cannot say no, right? Like either you have to subscribe or you find another social media network, right? So, and if you are a business or an influencer and then you have 10,000, 100,000 followers, it doesn't mean that every time you post something up, all these 100,000 people are going to see you, all right? Because there's so many um, entities out there that is trying to capture all these eyeballs. Agree or not? Agree? Can, um, I, okay. okay, so, uh, so, and every follower, right, they also follow hundreds of accounts, hundreds and hundreds of accounts. And every time you go through your Instagram feed or Facebook feed, it just goes up, right? So you don't know, you don't even know yang atas tu, like what has been posted before, you don't even see it. So it's just very hard to get attention in the social media, even though it is a good way, a free way to market your services. So usually um, social media is the way for you to market your business. So you have a website or you have a blog, that is your home, your house. If people go to your house, your home, you can... Uh, capture them. The fo your follower becomes your customer. And when you are able to capture their name, their email address, their handphone, that's when you know that you can always, um, you know, uh, get their attention the next time you post uh, something up in, 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 in offline manner, not social media manner. manner. So, so that is like, I feel the way to go. Uh, instead of just having all the social media account, but not knowing where your crux of your customer lies in. You get what I mean? Do you, you understand what I mean? Can I, I cannot see you, but okay. All right. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. All right. So, um, okay, let's start. Okay. My method of, uh, or to get a website is basically just three steps. You need domain, you need hosting, you need install WordPress. Okay. This is uh, essentially what you need to do, to, do a, uh, to get a website. But for today, I'm going to compress all these three steps into one step. Okay, it is what I did that gets my blog running into hours. Okay, so first domain. What is a domain? Domain basically is what you want to call your website. So it could be your, the name of your business. It could be the name of your brand. It could be your own name, whatever. Whatever you want to call. Uh, if it if it's available in the World Wide Web, you can use it, you can own it, okay? So, domain is also like the first step that you need to put in some time to, um, to think of, okay? Because uh, essentially, if you want to get a website, you're hope, hoping the website to stay with you for a very long time, lah, right? So, the important thing is the name because... If, for example, you want to get a name based on keyword search, eh? that means like, for example, Google, the keyword search, like people search for how to make Nutella tarts, okay? So, and you want to get a domain like that, how to make Nutella tarts, so that every time somebody search for how to make Nutella tarts, you punya rank goes on the first page of Google, okay? Because that's how uh, Google works, right? So, like that is, that is good if you want to get a traffic, you want, if you want to get traffic and if your content is relevant, if you are, if your business is to syndicate topics or information about how to make Nutella tarts and when people go to your website and everything about how to make, make Nutella tarts is there, like uh, the ingredients to make Nutella tarts, videos to make Nutella tarts, audios about Nutella tarts, people called Nutella tarts or whatever, then your traffic is going to go very up or very high. Lah. But if let's say that is not your content, then people go in, they see that that's not what they're searching for. They're going to get out of your store, of your website. So you need to think about what, uh, how you position your domain to be able to get organic traffic, but at the same time, not be like a, a clickbait, you know, like trick people to go into your website. Do you know what I mean? Okay. 
So where do you get domain name? Um, GoDaddy is still like one of the biggest uh, domain service registration. I think also one of the cheapest, but there are a lot of other um, uh, hosting uh, and uh, domain name services out there. Okay, the second part is, if I'm too fast, uh, Aisha, can you just macam, kalau aku macam tercepat sangat, aku bawa because I feel like I'm rushing. Okay, alright. So the next next step is Bluehost. It's hosting. Uh, it's hosting. Okay. So, sorry, give me a minute. Okay. So step two is finding hosting company. Hosting company is basically a service where your website sits on. Okay. So a simple way to explain is the domain of your store is the domain is your store. The domain is the name of your store. Okay, your store. The hosting company is the land that you built your store on. So your hosting company is like the landowner and you have to pay rental. You cannot get out away from it. If you want to get, if you want to do a professional website, you need to pay for hosting services. Okay, just like a brick and mortar source where you have to pay rental to the landlord, this like that. Yeah, only digital website is obviously way, way more affordable. Lah. Okay, so there's a lot of hosting companies out there, but I'm just going to share with you one and only one because this is the hosting company that I use for all my websites and it's the only one in the market that I feel can get your website up and running fast. The interface is very um, easy and instinctive, okay, and that company is Bluehost. Okay, I use, I use them since the first time I did my website with uh, my online shop 10 years ago and I still am using them and I, what is so great about Bluehost is they have upgraded their service and interface. So it was so much easier and simpler than 10 years ago and I uh, know Bluehost or I was, I use Bluehost because 10 years ago I asked my company guys, my IT company guys, <clears throat> Like if, uh, you know, what kind of hosting company they use, you know, for the company's website and things like that. So they all recommended Bluehost. So that's when 10 years ago, I used Bluehost. And then um, this year, I mean, when I did my blog also, I decided to just go back to them because <clears throat> they were very reliable. Okay. So, Sorry, Sis Juzaila, may I just ask a question? Yes. Uh, okay, just now you were saying untuk domain, right? Mm. Domain, you also use Bluehost. So, it's the same for hosting also, is it? You also use Bluehost? Yes. Yes. Oh. My own website, I use Bluehost. And I will share with you why um, in terms of the interface, in terms of uh, uh, the administrative part, it was like so much, so much easier because you do everything in one company. So it means the domain and hosting we can get both from bluehost.com lah. Yes. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. I will share with you uh, in a while. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go through uh, the step by step. Okay. So, um, right. So that's my affiliate link because <laughs> I'm affiliated with Bluehost. Uh, it's not going to cost any extra uh, for you. Okay. It's just that when you sign up, uh, you get whatever discounts that is available and then I just get a little bit of commission from Bluehost, that's all. Okay, so this, uh, from this point on, I'm going to live screen. Uh, I'm going to live screen. Okay, wait, eh, macam, okay, sorry. I'm going to skip this. And, okay. So, I'm going to Bluehost. I'm just going to use my affiliate link. <clears throat> okay, so this is Bluehost web page. And of course, the so you just go to Bluehost and then you just click get started. Okay, so they will run with you step by step. Okay. So these are the, basically their plans, their choice. Every hosting company will have different plans. The, uh, sorry, the cost of what it's like to pay for their uh, hosting services. And usually for Bluehost, they have 12, 24 months, 36 months. Okay, so it's up to you whether you want to commit for three, for three years, two years or one year. Okay, for me, I personally, I take the plus plan. Okay, the plus plan, why? Because 
it offers you unlimited websites. So with one hosting company, you can, uh, you pay rent one company, right? But you can put like two to three stores or five stores or whatever stores. Okay, so so for me personally, I use this plan because I have two websites under uh, Bluehost. Um, but it's up to you, okay? Uh, for the basic one, if you can see, it's three ninety five. These are all in US, eh? So, uh, they only have offer you one website, which is okay. If let's say you just want to do one website, then fine. Just uh, just choose which plan that suits you, okay? And then you just decide whether you want to commit one year, two years, three years. All right. So. For example, we go for the basic plan. So I'm just going to click basic plan. And then you go up, you go to your domain page. So this is, this is where you decide your name of your store. So before you get here, you need to already have an idea of what you're going to call your website. Okay. So uh, we're going to go to create a new domain. And I'm going to... Uh, find I'm, I'm going to use a keyword search term because I uh, because like usually I feel like it's, it's easier to have organic traffic like that so how to make Nutella tarts talk okay I like Nutella tarts I want to know how to make Nutella tarts so I'm going to create a website so how to make Nutella, uh, how to make Nutella tarts .com. there are different uh I don't know what you call this there are different ways yes? because .com is the most common but it's also most most of the phrases are very saturated already, already taken up. Okay, so like if you if you feel that um, uh, also anytime you put .com, you're going to pay more for that name. Okay, because they are very saturated already. Lah. That means a lot of phrases being taken up. So definitely, and then .com is the easiest. People usually thought of a website, they always think of .com. Right, like .com, .com. So, if you want to remain to .com and you are willing to pay extra for it, go ahead. If not, there's a lot of other abbreviations like how to make nuts, how to make Nutella tarts online, site, website. There's even like how to make Nutella tarts .com .club. Okay, so uh, it's really how you want to brand your website. Uh, for me personally, if you can get a .com, get a .com. Unless you really, 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 really like that name and it's not available in .com, but you really, really want that name, then you go and do other like .online, .site, .website. But if, can, if possible, just go for .com. And I'll tell you why. Because sometimes, okay, let's say you do how to make Nutella tarts dot club, okay? Then you give the impression that this is a club, right? And then if let's say, one year down the road, you don't want to make that club anymore. You don't want to have a club feel anymore. Then you are stuck with that domain. You see what I mean or not? So if so, that's why um, you just got to think a little bit like, of, of where you want to position your domain uh, where your website name is concerned, okay? So like for blog, for example, how to make Nutella Tazis dot blog. It makes sense if it's a blog, if there are articles on it, right? So if let's say you want to change it, then it's very difficult already if let's say you want to put, if you, it becomes a, if let's say it becomes a resource website or something like that or something else like that changes uh, in the next few years or whatever. Then it's just very difficult for you to change the domain, you see, because you're stuck with that. Okay, so, so I'm going to just leave it as .com and then we just see, okay? Alright, so we just click next. Okay. So they will put there whether it's available or not and the domain how to make Nutella tarts.com is available. Of course it's available because it's a very long key phrase. So of course it's available. Lah. Um, but uh, sometimes if it's not av available, then you just you just have to go through your list of names and see what is available. Okay, so from this point on, this is where you create your account. This is where you pay. So you just go through the account information, the package information, and then you submit to pay. All right. Um, I already have a Bluehost account. So for you guys, you might want to stop here and this will be your next step. You know, you can uh, do this on another day. Uh, and I'm just going to show you like if you can carry on and continue, like, how do you bring your website live? Because this is just the domain part of it. Okay. So going back to bluehost.com and 
when you uh, create an account, of course, you're going to go through the whole process of like your username, your password and things like that. So I'm going to log into my Bluehost. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to log in. And okay, so at this juncture, you already got your domain and your hosting. So two steps already taken care of. Okay. For most, the for more uh, other ways of creating websites, right? Like in 10 years ago, normally domain is another company, hosting is another company, then WordPress is another software or another function, another install, another way to install. Okay, this was 10 years ago. Now with Bluehost. Two steps out of the three steps is already done in Bluehost. You got your domain, you got your hosting already. Okay. Next thing is WordPress. Okay. That's the third side, right? WordPress is like your interior designer, like your or interior decorator. Okay. WordPress is the one that gives you your website the look and feel or the function it needed that you want for your website. Okay. So, like for example, a website. Um, like 10 years ago, right, this is the most uh, lengthy part to make your website. When I was doing this 10 years ago, this was the most difficult part because there's just a lot of, um, how to say, directories, there were a lot of integration and then sometimes like your hosting company does not provide that particular software or particular plugin then you have to search for it you have to buy it or something like that it, it is it is a lot of process but for bluehost everything can be done within bluehost that's why i like bluehost so much okay that's why whenever i'm in blogging forums and then people ask about what host do you <laughs> what hosting company you use i always say bluehost and then they always say like of course, no hosting company is perfect. Like, there will always be one or two like some things that they, they are not very good at or whatever. But I always feel that that so far, Bluehost is, the, is, is quite reliable in, in uh, putting up my websites. Okay? So this is WordPress. And uh, because mine is already done, so you just see WordPress. But for you, right? Because if let's say you do it and then you're, uh, once you get your domain, your hosting done, right? They will... Uh, it will actually be, they will actually say that, you know, whether you want to install WordPress. And then you, if whether if you want to install WordPress, just click yes, and then they will do it everything for you. Okay, they will do everything for you. You don't have to do anything. And then what, uh, after that, it's, it's done already, okay? So this is the home, uh, the dash, the, what you call it, the dashboard of your, your Bluehost. They used to call this the cPanel, okay? They, uh, they used to call this um, interface the cPanel. It's basically the, the, the part where you manage your website, okay? <clears throat> so you can see like if I click my site, then they will show the two the sites that I have with them. So for me right now, I have two websites. One is mombling.com, which is my blog. And I also have juzalajumari.com, which is a work in progress. Um, I just bought it because I just wanted to take my name out of the real estate website so nobody else can copy and then it's it's like a test site for me lah. so whatever i want to do i will do it on juzaila jumari because it is um just you know target practice for me so okay so you see here that it's also create new site okay for this lesson i'm gonna, just gonna click create new site create new site okay and then you have uh, they, they will ask you how would you like to build your website so there's WordPress which I say is your interior designer and then now they have this thing called Bluehost Builder Bluehost Builder is I don't recommend to use it it's like um, if you know this website service company called Wix or Wix or Weebly.com there's a few website builder companies uh, on the internet you know so they have this um, cut and pay or drag, drag, drag and drop uh, interface. Okay, it's very fast. It's very easy. Yes, but it's all it's already built up. So you cannot, if you want to adjust or you want to customize your website, right? It's not the best uh, interface to use. So normally, I would suggest don't go for Bluehost Builder. Don't go for this fast and easy the pre-built layouts. Don't go. Just use WordPress because WordPress 
can give you a whole lot more options. And if you want to do your, um, your online shop, right? You want to create cards and people can buy, take payments and all that. WordPress is the way for you to do it. Because they have a lot more um, resources and alternatives compared to this drag, drag and drop uh, interface. Okay, so so uh, okay. Like I'm just gonna use WordPress. Okay, so they, so basically, when you type WordPress, then you they will allow you to create a WordPress account. Okay, when once you have gone through the hosting. Uh, the payment and all that so basically you have your hosting account and then you have wordpress account wordpress have its own account so all every all the wordpress account is also done within bluehost itself okay so okay let's say I'm, uh, my site name is how to make nutella tarts and then my site tagline i want to say tarts make me happy okay and i'm just gonna click next Okay, and then domain, if you already buy domain from Bluehost, they will appear here. So you just select which domain uh, that you have bought and then you just go to next. Okay, and that's it. That, that, that's what they say. They just say, okay, we'll set up your site. <clears throat> okay, so, right. So because I already have momblin.com done or not already. So that's why they say uh, there's already a site. So I'm just going to go back to my Bluehost uh, cPanel. Okay, so basically once you've done that step, the site that you have created WordPress with, it will appear here. Okay, so you just go to manage site. Okay, you log in, you log into the WordPress account. If you log in, it will go to your WordPress account, which I will show you later. Manage site means you manage the back end of this um, this uh, Bluehost C panel, okay? Bluehost control panel, okay? Basically, it's just like a setting. So you have like like uh, your update and the name, and then if you go to marketing center, then it will have like um, all the plugins like like users okay i don't spend a lot of time here because these are just like the paperwork you know like much um this is not where you work to to create your, to create your website okay wordpress is the one that you use, that you use so i'm not going to spend a lot of time here i'm going to go to wordpress itself okay so i'm going to log in to my wordpress again through bluehost <coughs> And this is your this is the part where you control everything that you need to build your website. Okay, I will show you. Okay, actually, I don't want to do use mumbling. I think I show you. Sorry, I show you juzailajumari.com lah. That's that one. I think I can uh, play with it, and then you all can see what happens. Um, okay, so I'm gonna log in. Okay, so, so this is the, the WordPress itself. So if you can see from the top, okay, Bluehost, this is going back to Bluehost in your, uh, dashboard earlier. And then there's home. Uh, if you want to create a blog, this is where you create a blog. Of course. Okay, and then edit. So this is where you write, this is where you post, okay? If this is the first time you're doing it, you will need to uh, create the appearance of your website, right? So you go to appearance, you go to themes, and these are all the WordPress free themes that you can use for your uh, website. Now WordPress, there are two. There are some, some of the themes, it is paid, uh, some is free. The difference is some in the, um, in the design, sometimes in the, the different way you can customize the word print. So you, you have to play around with, with um, 
the kind of theme that you want to to do for your website okay for example like for me i use this uh, i just use a simple one like called this is uh, unwind um and it's a free wordpress theme and you can customize it so i will just customize this okay and then you will see how it looks like so you have like theme setting okay so for example i want to change the branding for example okay and then the branding okay then i can change the image and then uh okay like i mean just play around with it like let's i i i this is basically this is basically you um how you call it like, uh make your website okay so let's say i do the use this and then i okay let's say i publish what happens Double size logo to use on 99 devices. Mm, okay. Let's see what happens to. Mm, okay, so basically, I just changed the. I just basically changed the, 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 the image. Okay, so if I like want to change the header, uh, with these are all change icons. This is where this is where you do it in the appearance under the customize it. If I want to change the theme, also can I will just go to any of the theme or you want to search for themes, you can add new theme. WordPress has like so many, so many. If you if you Google like best wordpress themes premium price wordpress themes free wordpress themes right you will have all the different designers and whatnot who are selling their wordpress themes that like you know if you like the look of it you can purchase it and then um, install it in your uh, wordpress then um, activate it and then just install it for okay for example i want to get this skt secure okay can preview how it looks like All right, if I like it, I install, just click on install. And then if I want to change a little bit, then you customize. Okay, that's that's basically that's basically what it uh what uh, how you change the appearance of your website. Okay. Uh right, so this if I go through all uh this, it's gonna take a long time. Okay, I'm gonna share with you. Um, this is mainly for blogs, right? If you can see that uh it's very targeted to to blocks um what if you want to do a store a, an online shop uh, how do you con uh, how do you create an online shop okay i there for plugins yeah, this is called plugins okay plugins is basically accessories for your website so if you want to uh, create an online store then you need to have a plugin that is able, that's able to create online store. If you want to create a membership site, you have to find plugins that can support membership site for you. And for online store, this is my secret. <laughs> because online store plugins, every time, always have to pay. Most plugins, if you want to build online store, I sure cannot pay one. Right? Or, 10 years ago, I actually found one plugin plugin that you don't have to pay and apparently now also they have upgraded and then it becomes so good also. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so okay, let's see. Okay, you see this Zilla. Yes. Sorry, time check 925. Okay. Um, um 10 more minutes, I think. Uh I I share this plugin and then we will be done in 10 more minutes, I think. And then after that I will open for questions. Okay. I'll just uh uh, so basically, I just close the um, the part of the online store lah. Can I think a lot of people would want to know how how to do that? Okay, so if you see this website, uh, it's nothing, right? There's just my logo then, and it looks like a blog. Nothing to say that can buy or put in cart or or pay or something. Like nothing. So because I haven't installed the online plugin for the online store, 
Okay, so plugin for the online store, the free one, the free one and the basic one that you can use can start to make your online store. It's called WooCommerce. Okay, it's under plugin. If you don't have this inside your WordPress when you, um, when you made a website, if you don't have this under your plugins, right, it means that you haven't installed and activated. So if you want to install and activate it, you just go to search, in, uh, search for plugins. Okay, search for WooCommerce and then uh, install it. Okay, I think can, oh, sorry. Go and stop again, add new. Sorry, sorry, add new. Then, uh, then you here, you search for plugins, then you type WooCommerce. Then you have this WooCommerce, right? So over here, like for me, I already installed, but I haven't activate. So for you, if you don't see it, you means it means you haven't installed. So you install first. You install and then you activate. Okay. So this, if you don't see WooCommerce, WooCommerce is the free, uh, open source plugin to sell anything. <laughs> That's what they say. Sell anything anywhere, anywhere, and make your way. Okay. It's the only one that I that you don't have to pay. You don't have to pay to create online stuff. Most other plugins require some form of subscription service. Okay, so let's uh, let's go to install plugins. Uh, okay, so I'm going to activate this. I'm going to activate WooCommerce. <clears throat> okay. Um, Right, okay, let's see. Uh, I think I don't have to. Let's see. Let me just go back to see whether let me see whether WooCommerce is activated in stock here. Mm, what area is it? Ah, okay. Right. So, um, I have activated WooCommerce and then can you see that I have that WooCommerce already appeared here? Okay. And then can you see down there is products and then add new. Oh, so this is your, this is where you key in your products. Huh? You, okay. And then if you look at my website, when I updated it, suddenly it has this basket here, the cut. So it shows that um, you know, once you put in your products and all that, right, you, you it's already live, you can, um, people can click on it and then add to cart and things like that, like a functional uh, online shop. You get what I mean? All right. So, so that is if you want to create the online store. If, let's say you want to create a membership, um, membership site, then like I said, go to plugins and then you add new. Then you search, you just search like Google lah, membership plugins and then you see what comes out. Um, it's always a little bit of try and error when you, when you first start out. Um, also in, you know, you can, you can always like Google like what kind of membership plugins that is free or available to use or easy to use. Or maybe if you go to a certain website and you like the look and feel of their membership site or their, on their online store, right? You can always, um, like Google, like what kind of uh, plugins or softwares they use and then try that out on your, on your website. Okay. So, um, I think I have, um, pretty much covered. Okay. I'm going to stop screen, uh, screen sharing here. Okay. And I think that's it. Um, yeah. All right. Um, yes. So basically, that's the whole process. That's one process. Go to Bluehost from start to finish. When you build a website, that takes a little bit more time because you need to like, you know, um, see, uh, like test, test and feel the, the, 
the kind of things that you want to do um, with your with your website. Mm, okay. Uh, hang on, let me see. Right. So after this, okay, let me just go back to. Let me just. Sorry. I need to... Okay, so you created your website already. So um, what is the next step? Is create your website. <laughs> create your website lah. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. So after you created your website, uh, the next thing is of course now you know this, right? So the next thing is of course to create a website. So first you need to go and find out your uh, go and do your domain names, uh, search for your domain names, and then um. Go to Bluehost, do the hostings, and then build up the WordPress. Everything is all in one, um, one website, one company. Uh, and then why I failed, like the last time I did my online shop, right? It's like why I failed to to sustain it, and then after one and a half years, I shut it down. Is because I just don't know what to do after that. I don't know how to market it. Basically, I thought like create a website already. Uh, put it on Google. Like Google can find you lah. <laughs> That's what I thought, but actually. After you did a website, that the the work begins after that. You need to market, market, market. There's now digital marketing, internet marketing, affiliate marketing, social media marketing. You need to market your website. You need to learn how to market your website. Of course, using social media is the best way because social media right now is still free. So you can tap on social media marketing to to uh, run. Uh, to run to uh, market your website. This is for people who have businesses. You have businesses already. Now you now it's time to create a website, right? That is what you need to do next. For people who don't have businesses, um, your next step is to figure out what are you going to do with this knowledge. Okay, you don't own even if you don't own a business. You still need to learn how to market. And I find you can start with marketing yourself. You can start with marketing your services or what you know, um, you know. So, but but just start uh, uh, doing some things. For those of you who don't have a business, but you are looking for something to do to write this digital wave, right? You want to write. You want to have a little bit of this digital uh, economy. Um, like I said. For uh, I I I I shared this class for for those people who are stuck, right? Um, because I used to be stuck, and then how I get unstuck. Um, I I actually attended a a seminar where they where they give you um you know tools and strategies to find clarity. Okay, so that so that's what I do. So because I used to be able to not know like. Like, how, 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 you, how, you, how you market yourself, you know, I have so many things and I don't know what to do, I'm, I'm stuck. Um, I actually attended, with, I attended a, a, a seminar and then I gained some perspective and then I act upon my knowledge. Every time I learned something, I applied it and that's, that's how I get unstuck. Okay, so if you are interested to, to know how to get unstuck, just text, raise up your hands to me. Okay, or you can follow me in Facebook, Instagram, tele, uh, Telegram, Twitter, wherever. Okay, and if you want to know more on how to get unstuck, just uh, text me lah. Okay, other than that, uh, yes, we, this, I, I, I think I finished this class already. Um, here's the pay now number if you want to participate in Crumbs Charity Drive. Okay, so I will end this lesson proper and I will take questions. Okay, let me stop this. I will take questions now. Yeah, we have a question. Okay. All right, uh, Karin, can you say I will take, now it's 9.35, okay. Um, let me see. Karin, you, did, did you note any question? Okay, since the WooCommerce, does it yeah. have online payment for free? Okay, WooCommerce is a basic... Um, online uh, payment, the, the payment gateway is very basic. So I think they take PayPal and they have an option for bank transfer. 
So credit cards, right? It's not. Yeah, I I don't think it's. Uh, they can, but I think you, it comes with like a premium price. That means you either have to pay. Uh, you have you you have to pay to be able to take that um payment gateway, okay, um but like PayPal and then like other kind of online um payment scheme where it where you don't have to take the details through your website itself um they accept and it's free yeah. What is the difference using dot com and dot co? Um. It's not a difference. I think people use .co because they cannot get .com. Yeah. Most of these abbreviations, right, because .com is usually like, no, uh, that, that, that name. So they go to the next best thing. Lah. Like I said, like some people, they really, really, really want that particular brand or that particular name and then they cannot get it .com. So they, they are willing to take other abbreviations. And that is really up, up to you. Okay. Um, okay, uh, Assalamualaikum. Salam. Okay, my name is Hashima. I have two questions. The first one, okay, uh, I'm doing an uh, online business um, selling uh, Humaira Quran and those Islamic um, products. Basically, I have my own uh, agents under me. So, if I created a website using this WooCommerce, right, mm -hmm. will, will, will I able, will it, will it, possible to create an agent account to be tagged on the same website? Um, yes, uh, I, um, okay, let me, okay, basically, if you want to do that, right, you probably have to do two plugins, okay? Um, you have to do a membership plugin because I believe your agents have to log in to your website, mm -hmm. and then, uh -huh. uh, and then, um okay wait that so okay how do you mean so that means like you create accounts that means kalau let's say some uh, your agent buy they have to go to your account and buy it under like a discounted price is it is it how something like that okay so the website uh if generally uh, i get customer to purchase directly from my website so it's under my uh, accountable under my own customer where else my agent if they want to uh, make an order um, from the products that in stock. So uh, they are using their own account, but under the same website. Means that uh, the, whatever that I update on my website, they're still able to see the stock balance and everything. But when they make an order, uh, it tags to their account. So basically in the report, I can know that this sales is from which agent. Mm. Um, okay, I have, think, I think I've done this before, it takes a little bit of work under WooCommerce uh, because WooCommerce, let's say, is a basic, uh, basic okay. retail platform, but if, let's say, you want, uh, if, let's say, you want to do that, you have to try. Firstly, I think you can, there are, uh, in WooCommerce, you are able to give, you are able to create codes, so you can, much like, um, create Quotes whereby if this quote is um, entered by your agent, for example, it comes up in a in a different price or different quant uh, or ah oh, okay ah uh, uh, uh. uh, so that is one way you can trace like much like, okay this agent uh they buy from that website right they use their account to buy from that website right but you want to know that this is mm -hmm. an agent purchase then you yes. want to, to buy mm -hmm. using this quote lah. That means anytime you use this code, then it will come out in the in the in the back end. They, they will have a product, they will have a way for you to track all these purchases and all that. So you can see lah whether this code when this being entered, then you know that this is from this agent punya purchase or sales or whatever. Mm. Okay, okay, so that is that is you. one way I feel that it can help you under WooCommerce, because I think I have done that before. Um the other way is memberships, that means you create uh, different accounts for your for Agents. your agent to log in and um up and buy those and then buy those um those items item with the discounted price. But I feel like the account will be a probably a more complicated way under WooCommerce. Mm. Yeah, oh. because it is so like, so it's good it's good to to add on under plugin. Yes. Uh, I mean membership plugin. Uh, the code that means under WooCommerce, right? They 
they, they are, you are able to create codes and create oh, okay. for your agent. Lah. And then every time your agent buy something, you ask them to key in the code. Key okay, in. faham. So last last but not least, will, will they provide a sales report? Or any reporting, uh, I mean, in, in, in monthly basis, like basic reporting, lah, like within a month, uh, the list of, of items and, 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 and the sales? Um, under WooCommerce, right, I think every time you get a purchase, they will, uh, they will come up with their own invoice. That means like somebody who, who buys, right, they will get some, they will get some, like a receipt back, right? Mm -hmm. Um, okay, I'm not sure because I'm trying Okay, okay. To okay, no problem, no problem. I will explore myself. Simple form of tracking, but I'm not sure whether it's uh, is very, you know, detailed like like Excel and all that, but they do I I I feel like they do have some ways of tracking. Yeah. Cuma it's not okay. very uh, extensive and detailed. Lah. Hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum. Okay. Assalamualaikum. Uh, I have, sorry, Liza here. I just have one question. Mm -hmm. um, okay, the, tadi the part where um, after you get, after you have um, gotten your your uh, your hosting and your domain to me, mm -hmm. uh, and then you need to go to WordPress from your blue host in your dashboard, right? Mm -hmm. So is it, do you, um, prior to that, do you have to actually create a WordPress um, account? Uh, but because, <clears throat> sorry, because I understand that WordPress has two sites, where it's wordpress.com and wordpress.org. So yes. um so which one do you do you actually have to create a, a, a an account with WordPress first or and if so um which which WordPress uh, website do you have to to create it create WordPress within Bluehost that means um as blue uh when you install WordPress under Bluehost right Bluehost will ask you to create a WordPress account in Bluehost that is the the self hosted WordPress uh, I think wordpress.org is the open resource software which is which is already integrated in Bluehost punya interface. WordPress.com oh. is blog yang kalau you nak free blog, you can just go to WordPress.com and then you create an account lepas tu nanti punya blog jadi macam uh, juzaila.wordpress.com uh, Macam blogspot.com that kind, right? So WordPress.org is the hmm. open source uh, uh, software which has already been integrated in Bluehost which you don't need to create another uh, account within Bluehost itself, will, you will be able, uh, they will help you um, do that. That means as you go along, right, when during the registration process, when you're creating accounts and all that, you will, you will go through, through, uh, through that. The first time when you install WordPress in Bluehost, you only need to do it one time, Maja. Um, the first so, time you open Bluehost, uh, that's the time. Yep. Okay, so when you start designing your WordPress site, right? So when you start designing your site, do you actually go back to bluehost.com? Uh, do you log into the blue uh, to Bluehost at the point you log in to WordPress? WordPress, WordPress or WordPress.org, and then you log in as per what? As uh, for as per your Bluehost punya account details lah. Um, in uh, to make it easy, every time you want to do something to uh, your WordPress, right? You just log into Bluehost and then you log into WordPress from Bluehost. Then you will be brought to the WordPress punya interface and then you can do any, uh, you can like create your website from there. Kalau you nak terus pergi WordPress without going through Bluehost, right? Then, um, masa the, masa the registration tu, they will, mm -hmm. they will tell you the link, uh, they will share with you the link, the direct link that you go. And usually it is, it is your website name.com slash wp-admin. That's usually the, um, so kalau let's say macam you tak nak masuk Bluehost kan, you nak terus pergi WordPress, uh, macam my website is juzailajumari.com slash wp-admin. I click on that, it goes to the WordPress punya login page. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. Faham, okay, can. Thank you. Mm. Anything else? Okay. Yeah, Shreen, 9.45. Okay. Um, Anything else? Okay. Right. Uh, okay, so if there are no other questions, thank you so much for attending this class. I hope uh, whatever that I have shared with you is beneficial. Kalau ada yang terkurang ke, tersalah ke, tersilat, tersasul ke, um, 
please forgive me for my shortcom- shortcomings. Uh, everything good comes from Allah. Um, and then anything that is bad is my own um, mistake. Lah. So thank you so much. Um, if I could uh, have a little bit of your feedback. So what do you think about this website? Whether, you know, uh, so that we can... It helps us motivate more to create more of such such uh, lessons. Uh, please do so. I just need macam one line feedback. Je, macam like, oh, is it good? You know, how do you feel? What 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 you learn from it? And like I said, knowledge that you act upon is power. So whatever knowledge that that you have right now, uh, start lah doing something. Start. Just start, okay? Uh, and kalau tak boleh start, unstuck, nak nak unstuck, then just uh, message me, okay? I will share with you how to get unstuck, okay? Alright, kalau dah tak ada apa-apa lagi, uh, kita... Um, okay, Alhamdulillah, thank you. I feel like starting a business soon, yes. Yes, very good, very good. Okay, um, kita akhirkan uh, this lesson with Tasbih Kafara dengan Surah Al-Asr. اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت